final five. And we'll call for a roll call vote. Mr. Barron. Yeah. Mr. Howard. Right. Great. Aye. Uh, you have the signing. You're doing the signings. Okay. And that would be the appropriate part of the payroll. Uh, the only other thing that, that uh, we did get a complaint about an open meeting violation from Patrick, and it has it, been forwarded to Arthur Frank to take care of. Um, we just have to acknowledge that this, that's what the board wants to do, wants to have Mr. Frank take care of it. Um, is that the consensus of the board? Did we go through this already? This is a complaint from the 14th. Was it the same complaint that we voted last time? No, it's a different complaint. It is. It looks like I'm not going to print this one out, but I would just go over and look at the. He's already got that one. That's the, that's the response we got from one of the complaints. This was a complaint stating that we, in order to go, uh, Attorney Frank has given us the, the language, which is on the agenda, to go into the executive session to discuss abatement. And Patrick does not agree with Mr. Frank on how to do that. Uh, so he has taken exception to the fact of what we're doing, and he's, he's filed a complaint with the AG's office. And I think this is who is um, who is the decision maker here? The Attorney General, or is it? I know Arthur is doing. I hope he does the research. Uh, uh, well, let me just let me just say that. that Mr. Frank, Attorney Frank, is in the process of being certified as a open meeting law instructor, and he was so, and he's pretty much in touch. He has he has a person at the AG's office that he talks to about this. He needs special certification in order to yeah, he does this in order to do the training. You know, I don't think you have to be an attorney to do the training, but he he. Uh, it's another certification. Yeah, who's like that? Okay, this is just stating that, that Patrick thinks that we should go and, and do it under the normal uh, 21A, uh, I'm sorry, 30A, chapter 30A, section 21A7. And according to Attorney Frank, what we have here is the way to do a date. are different from other executive sessions. And we are also researching this to, to, to see. So Attorney Frank went to the Attorney General's office to get this recommendation to bring that to us. Is that this, that? this is what he, this, this is, this one here is what the Attorney General's office gave to the Attention. Right, it's from Arthur Frank to us. Well, my question is, is that his opinion of the to the Attorney General? This is, this is, from what he told me, yeah. this is what the Attorney General of the told him okay. to, do, to go into executive session, to do a bait, strictly a bait. If we were going in to do something else in a bait, we, we'd have to do the other session along with But we're just going in to do a bait. And that, and that is, that's all we do. That's what we're doing. Okay, so on that note, I do have a question about today's agenda. That's a separate item. That should have been. Which I think it's not part of the. It's not part of the. It's not part of the executive. We were going to come out, but I, I'm going to ask that we table that till next week and just have uh, a regular session. In regular session, that should be uh, James for the day. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, I I agree. He, the, the complaint has to, the, the new complaint has to be responded to, so, right. so we have, uh, we'll have, we'll have attorney I guess a copy automatically, or we uh, Patrick, I, I call him a copy, okay. anything like this that comes in, that we get, and I think that Patrick called in his email, and then there's, there's 
little as I know about it, we have a specific time to respond to that. Yes, we do. Like, and how will it be? Unless we're doing everything right, you know, if there's something that we're doing wrong, we have to. Yeah, if there's something right wrong, wrong. Yeah, we'll correct it. That, that's, not, that's not a problem. It's not a case that we. I am, and I don't think you're just attorney Frank. We're, we're trying to. Yeah, we're trying to get it right. All well, we can do at this point is we're going to take our attorney's advice. That's right. Basically. Okay, so we are, we're all, we're all in agreement. We're going to send the, the complaint to the out of Frank is going to handle the complaint. And um, I'm going to ask Stanley to assist my advice on this, this here. This gentleman is here to see us uh, about, the, about the abatement process. Um, should we talk to him in open session or in executive session? Is it strictly an abatement issue? I mean, we've already done the abatement. Yeah, it, we've already done the abatement. Uh, it, it's his preference. I mean, the last time you went in open session, if I recall right, you didn't. You know, this way, this way, we won't have a problem from the audience. And we're going to bring the movies. So I'm make sure he takes the shot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ask, ask him for your royalties. You'll be saving this. You'll be saving the uh, town money if we don't have to call our attorney in for another reason, and we'll look favorably. <laughs> so I would say, do you have you, you have you do have this information with us? I don't have the information. I wasn't giving James was giving me the information, <laughs> but from what I understand, you brought a copy. Oh, it took all week long. You couldn't get the information. I was not here. I mean, when, I, I came in the office today. <laughs> Jane did not hand me the information. What would you like to see? Well, you were the last time you were at a meeting. You talked about some type of letter or anything of that sort. You, you realize that I haven't been on Wednesdays. Wednesday. Yeah, I know. And you talked of some letter or whatever. Well, this letter was delivered to you on February 14th. I think it was 14th. Yeah. February 14th. Yeah. Well, it would have been me. I was in the hospital. But we. But it was to the office. Well, we did. We did act. We did act on his. Yeah, we acted on his application. We acted on his application. Yeah. Well, no, I'm here in, the, in response to your denial of an abatement. Oh, yes, yeah. Let, let, oh, let's, 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 see, let's, let's see what. Let's start off. You have a copy of the letter that I'm saying. Yeah. If you don't mind showing it to me, so that I can see.
that the zoning came that I'm looking at. No, from the plan. That's, that's what we're looking at. Right, right. That's the request the idea. Yeah, but we're looking at the, 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 that only was taken up at the town meeting, which was 120, 123, 12. The, the letter with the application yeah. was from the planning board. Okay. They were saying they were going to change the designation from. Right, but it, did, it didn't change until two <coughs> months ago. Yeah. yeah. Which was after January right. 1st, 2011, which is the start of the fiscal year.
I'm also going to ask you when you do me a favor. Sure. While you're discussing with the uh, town solicitor about the uh, filing to the appellate tax, uh, about the open meeting law and so forth, also ask him the question about when the zoning change is made. My understanding is when the zoning change is made, there's a grandfather clause that says <coughs> everything that resided in that district has three years to utilize the old zone. I know this for a fact in the sense Not of the Have you asked the solicitor? Have you got an opinion from the solicitor? No, frankly, no. I just told you to talk to the building No, no, we're talking about the solicitor. Not about the friend. You're not going to ask the town administrator. We're going to ask the yeah. We're we're going to ask the solicitor because you make a change in uh, zoning. Anybody that I have a building that they just did that to me in another community, and I asked that opinion, and I have three years. They changed it to a redevelopment district from a commercial zone where almost anything went. And I had three years from the time of changing to use the old zone. The planning board says, the answer to that question is, I, I'm yeah. asking Wayne, on your behalf, in your behalf, I'm asking I'm Wayne to explain. The answer. You're telling me what the plan is. Have you talked to the solicitor? I don't need to be. I thought the planning board about they, that. They are not the, uh, they're not the law. They're not. This is not a law. You have the stipulation in this case, you need to be the fact that on your behalf, on your behalf, we're going to ask the town solicitor what so going forward so we know when somebody makes a zoning change and somebody does the town does things, we know what rights the taxpayer has. I don't know in place but I have presented to the town and the planning board a plan to build a building on this footprint. I have three years. You have three, three years to present to that plan. To present the plan. Okay. If there's no plan in place, nobody does that. Now the uh, conservation department told me that we noticed that there was a commercial building there. It doesn't matter if the footprint is there or not. To them. To them it does. Oh, well, yeah. to them. That, that, but they're not the authority. There's different right. regions in different, different areas. But you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing if I don't get the town to, to, to agree on something. So well, why do you want to have that? Well, we're, we're going to the city yeah, solicitor. We're, we're going we're gonna to try to get, uh, uh, get there and get his legal advice on what, what the correct thing to do. Because of the zoning change. I, I don't think that any any of the three of us. Uh, I, I don't I'm speaking. I, I don't want to speak for, but I, I think we'll all feel comfortable if we have a better idea of what what legally we can do. Uh, we don't have an answer. I mean, it's, it's that simple. See, we know we know from our point of view that the zone didn't change. It changed after January first. From an assessment point of view, right? yeah, as an assessment point of view, we we've got to hold the old zoning in the following fiscal year. We changed. The but from our understanding that you have a grandfather right, and maybe we're right, maybe we're wrong, and we want to buy it. The building department said that no grand well, no, we right. have no grandfather right. The building department will tell you a lot of things. We've heard a lot of things in this office that the conservation has come in and said that you can't build on this piece of property because there's wetlands, and then two years later, somebody's got a building there. Because the zoning board was in the area. Well, you could do the same thing, too. That's going to come back to us, too. In the meantime, but I, I right think, now, all we're concerned with is... It says that. If, if, if I wanted to build a commercial building, I would have to go to the zoning board and apply for a building. Doesn't that tell you something? If you're hurting your argument. I'm hurting my You're argument. hurting your argument, so, because if you were to take me up to the appellate tax room and you say that to the commissioner, you're going to lose. We're trying to help you. Yeah, we're, we're giving you an extra step in here because, okay. because 
the, the, the next logical thing would be to go to the appellate tax board. So we're going to try to do one more. Why would I want to go to that board? I said, this is nothing but a royal thing. We're trying to help you out right now. That's what we're, we're trying to help you out right now. Right now. Right now. That's why I keep coming back here. Get you guys to do something. We're trying to work. We're going to the solicitor to see what what the story is. And we have that. Is that is that all? That's it. That's it. Okay. Sorry. No movies. We're gonna. I mean. Uh, while we're spending money on something else, we're going to spend it just a little bit, a few more times. So if you want, I'll go ahead and kill myself. Good no, 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 no. No, he's going to tell you. We're going to we're gonna get an opinion from him. We want to really, we do want to know this because it, it's an, an aspect, the same condition to us, too, that when a different board comes into us and says, you can't do this, you can't do that, maybe we're right, maybe we're wrong. Better we know and we have the actual opinion. Okay. So would that be next week? No. You need to come in between now and then you can't get an opinion by a week. Well, we made I mean we've made it remember, we've got we've got another hundred and twenty applications that we've got to review. Yours is not the only one in the file. I we, know. we have made a decision on it. And we have three months now between you and us. We have three months before we go to the appellate tax board for us to reverse our decision. So you could prevent that. What we're trying to prevent too, though, is we have another hundred or so applications that we have to act within the next month. I understand, but you're not the only one that's filed. Everyone else, we think about it, a hundred other people say we make one phone call. This is at the top of the list, you know. This is going on now for a couple of months. We have, we, we understand <coughs> the time. We, we are working and we get, we're trying, as we said before, we're trying to work with you. Okay, Dale. Uh, okay. We will have a good Easter. Have a good Easter. I'll see you. Have a good Easter. Now, I will call for a motion to go into. I just, uh, if you don't mind me, uh, I'm, I'm curious as to why, why the, uh, why the thing about the executive session? 5960 doesn't say anything about executive session. It only says that an application for abatement is confidential. Yeah, but why, why are we continuously going down this road with you? Because the open meeting law is uh, not being 100% followed. It's not just the assessors. There are other boards in this town who also have open meeting law violation complaints. Uh, I, I ask you that question because every time we have to go to the the uh, administrator, we go back and we spend your money as well as every other taxpayer's money, and our our opinion comes back that you know okay, this is the proper way to do it and so forth. And, and like I said, we're going to them now, so we're going to spend a few dollars extra. And the opinion keeps coming back that we're doing it right. We're still waiting on the uh, decision from the Office of Open Government of the Attorney General's Office on the first set of uh, open meeting law violations. Come back with this because I know they're going to come back and say, here's the verbiage, you, you have not violated the open meeting law like they did to us with saying that you, here's the statement you, they said that you have the numbers addressed on you, you don't have to have the people's names make a reference to it. I just ask you the question because I want to stop spending the town money. But this is also not on your agenda tonight. So it really shouldn't be discussed tonight. No, the question was to you. I know, but I say it's not on your agenda tonight. So it shouldn't be discussed by you or the board tonight unless it was on the agenda. The board was not discussing it. Was I know that. that
Okay, you ready to start? Yeah, I'm going to go on the executive second. To review and discuss abatement numbers 21 to 22. At least separate, all right, at least separate. 21 and 22. Yeah, 251 and 258. Yeah, and 90 through 113, 115 through 211. FY 2012 in compliance with the Mass General Law, Chapter 59, Section 60. Okay, I have a motion to have a second. Our attorney states that we should do it this way. I second it. Okay. I'm on camera doing that, so now I'm probably going to do another. I'm going to do I have a motion and a second. Let's do a roll call vote for severity. Aye. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Gray. Aye. 